Hi everyone, this is Lavin Vastani and today I'll be demonstrating how to repair a laptop speaker with silicone gel. So this is a tube which I'll be using. So many of us uh, have experienced that with continuous usage of uh, speakers on loud music, uh, somewhere in the time uh, they will start producing a sound like a crackling sound uh, which is very disturbing to hear and it does not sound good as well. Uh, this probably indicates that uh, if the speakers are damaged and they need to be repaired. So I'll be showing you how to repair it. So first of all, I'll tell you about the silicone gel which we are going to use. Uh, I'm using a type 2 gel. So the reason for that is, uh, is it bonds well to surfaces. So there are three characteristics while purchasing a silicone gel that you should consider. It should not have become yellow with time, it should not crack with time and it should not shrink with temperature fluctuation. So over here uh, this image shows that uh, this is one sample from another type of gel of the obviously silicon. So it became yellow with time and on the edges on the right hand side show that it has cracked over time and some the gel should do have this characteristic of getting shrink um, this shrink with temperature fluctuation so you don't want that to happen okay let's continue further so now if you can see the components of your laptop that means you are at the position where you can inspect your speakers and this particular model speakers uh, uh, are of are from JBL so uh, this laptop is a Lenovo Y510P so I'll be attempting to repair the speakers as you can see there is no more surround remaining for the speakers to uh, go in and come out so there is nothing on their sides to guide them and so the sound will be distorted so what you might want to do is that you might have to trace out the speaker shape as I have done in this so Continuing further, we'll be uh, filling these gaps uh, with the silicone gel, which will uh, form the base for uh, repairing the speakers. Okay, so now you, what you would want to do is that just fill the uh, diagram which you got with this uh, silicone sealant. What you need to do is now that you need to create a small layer a thin layer of this sealant which is like kind of uniformly spread I recommend using a wax paper because uh, it will help in removing this thin layer uh, much easier when we uh, when we are done with drying this glue or the sealant sorry not the glue Okay, so you would want to have something like this uh, for your sp uh, it's like a, a sheet of rubber that will be surrounding your speakers now. So just let it dry for maybe around like 10 hours or so and if you want you can uh, have another row of sealant like this and just leave it so this can uh, this will act like a tester I guess uh, so after like uh, 10 hours or so uh, you can simply peel this and see if this comes out uniformly that means these two also will surely okay now once these uh, slices are dried out or the peels are dried out you need a sharp knife 
in order to like peel it out from the paper and uh, yep just be careful as to not to cut yourself in the process okay The only thing I would suggest is that you need to be very careful while taking the peel out of the paper as these peels are very delicate to the sharp objects and you might cut them in the process. Okay, so peeling of the dry drain was a real uh, headache. So a word of advice, just proceed with patience and it will take a lot of time to peel it off carefully so next thing is very simple we just need to apply this plate over here with you know like just like this we just need to fit it in and that should do the work now uh, applying that is very easy I guess most of you might have known by now take the same silicone gel apply it to the sides as well as the insides properly and then just paste it on it as you would do for any other favicol gel Okay, so once you're done with this side, then you need to do it on the middle as well. Uh, just these uh, edges should be enough to get the thing done. Let's do it then. Okay, so this should be good enough for this uh, rubber plate to stick in and it should form a good housing for our um, this silicone thing. So let's just go ahead and paste it on it and let's hopefully it should be done by then. Just kind of fit it inside properly so that it does not uh, come out. Then Now let it remain and let it dry for some time. Okay, now that you have, uh, once you have this uh, silicone gel uh, upper layer kind of semi-dried, then you can start uh, applying the same solution to the edges so that 
we can seal it off properly you see like this uh, so that it will provide extra uh, uh, grip to the layer uh, and therefore the layer will not simply uh, come out once the speaker starts operating because the speaker will uh, move up and down in a rapid manner which can actually uh, which could actually for uh, force this layer to simply pop off so this is how i tried to like fix it and i think it should work now properly hi guys now as you can see the laptop is now uh, ready for testing so let's test the speakers out So I think that this sample is enough for uh, saying that the speakers are now restored to their original uh, state. Although I would like to state that uh, if anything is repaired, it cannot get back to its 100% efficiency. So the same thing you'll experience. But what I can assure is that if you uh, go about doing it properly, you can at least restore 90% of your speakers efficiency uh, as you would see that uh, at my 100% uh, some distortion is there in the sound but that is about to happen so you can't restore it to its complete new state uh, because those are made by machines but we are doing it by hand and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you like the video and I hope I help you <laughs> so please like and comment and if you want you can subscribe as well thank you